All right, uh, next, let's get rid of that key prop warning in the console. And basically, every time you'll render a list of items in React, React wants to keep track of those items. So we need to provide a unique value and set it equal to a key prop. And typically, it's going to be an ID. And since we're creating this list ourselves, essentially, we'll go back and just add these two properties. Keep in mind that the property name doesn't have to be ID. Just these values need to be unique. So if you call this vegan food truck, it's totally okay, as long as you provide unique values. And they don't have to be numbers. Essentially, you can turn this into a string of one and string of two, and hopefully you see where I'm going with this. And lastly, normally, we'll be fetching data from some kind of external resource anyway. So those values, again, most likely IDs, will be right away provided. And I'll talk about the indexes at the end of the video and why we should avoid that. So first, let's just go back to index.js. And we want to add those unique values again, not going to be particularly original, I'm just going to go with ID one and ID two. And yes, if you have 10 of them, then basically manually, you'll add this one, ID one and ID two in my case, then we want to navigate and we want to set this key prop on the main return. So it's not going to work if we go here, and set it equal to key and then the ID because this is the element that I'm returning when I'm iterating over the list. Keep that in mind. And the reason why I'm saying that, because I get these questions in course Q&A, where in some project, it's confusing where we should set the key. So always, always, always look for the place where you're iterating over the data. And then you want to set on the item that you're returning. Basically, if there's going to be this type of setup. So let me go back here and show that ID. If you have this type of setup, then add it on a div, not on a heading two. Hopefully that is clear. So let's go back over here. Now we know that in the book, we actually have the ID, correct? So we pull it out. And then just like they suggest in console, we just go with key and set it equal to an ID. And what do you know, the moment I save it, everything is fine. Now, as you're looking at someone else's code, you'll see this approach as well. Essentially, this just saves a little bit of time where in the map, the second parameter is the index. So you know that in JavaScript, arrays are zero index based, the first item is going to have the value of zero, then one. And if you have 100 items, that means that you'll have those values from zero to 99. And technically, you can get away with passing this index into a key. Yes, you'll see this type of approach. In general, I don't advise doing that, even though you can get away with it, because it only works for the lists that you know will never change. So basically, if we'll have some kind of option to remove items from the list, then this is not going to work. Effectively, there's a high chance you'll get some bugs down the road. Now, if you know 100% that the list is not going to change, yes, you can cheat a little bit. But in general, I don't advise using such an approach. So that's how we can set up the key prop. We just need to set it equal to some kind of unique value that is in our data.